Starting this weekend, you'll have the chance to support the Ovarian Cancer Alliance of San Diego. Well, this Sunday, the ninth annual Teal Steps Walk will take place in Coronado. And joining us to tell us more about it is Naomi Edelmuth with the Ovarian Cancer Alliance. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. We love that you're here at Fox 5. Tell us a little bit about this event and how it all started. Well, it's our ninth year. Um, we started the organization in support of survivors or people going through ovarian cancer. We um, do education, we do advocacy work, we do support group work, and we support research, and, uh, research uh, for ovarian cancer and other gynecological cancers through UCSD's fellowship program. Let's talk about where the funds that are raised are going specifically, if you can. Okay, that's a great question, and that's part of where they go. So they go for research to UCSD's mm -hmm. fellowship program. They also go to all of the outreach work that we do and the support group work that we do. So we educate third-year medical students at UCSD, as well as 11 different nursing schools in San Diego about the risks of and symptoms of ovarian cancer. We also do a support group and um, we do walks and we do what we can to get the word out mm -hmm. that ovarian cancer is a real disease and that really needs education and focus. Well, let's talk about that. Ovarian cancer is something that most people don't talk about. We talk about breast cancer. We talk about a lot of other cancers, uh, brain cancer, things like that. Um, this is one of those ones that is really, you know, under the radar, but yeah. it's a female cancer. It's, it's under the radar because um, our survival rate is not great, um, but most importantly, there's no diagnostic tests for ovarian cancer, and that's what makes it so difficult. Coupled with the fact that ovarian cancer is really has 31 different subgroups to it, so it's really hard to identify in early stages, and that's when most cancers are most successfully um, uh, treated, so mm -hmm. to speak, and so getting the word out is difficult, and that's why we so appreciate being on this program, and that's why we have our walk. Well, let's get right to the walk, because many people want to know what time does it start, and do they have to register to participate? Well, registering in advance is great. You can register at the advance, at the walk. Um, the walk actually starts at 8 o'clock, but we'd like people to start coming by 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, we do the walk at 8 o'clock. It's in a beautiful place, Tidelands Park, Coronado, and very flat and very beautiful and very easy. Two-mile well, walk, easy to do. How many people attended last year? Well, we had over 800 people registered last year. Last year was a kind of a freaky time because it rained. It rained right before the walk, and it was just kind of odd, but we are hoping to get even more people this year. And how much money did you raise during that time? Uh, we raised over $60,000 mm -hmm. for that walk alone. Let's talk about raising awareness of ovarian cancer, if you will. It's so mm -hmm. important. Um, you have a personal history with this. I know my friend also mm -hmm. has a personal history with it. So just talk about being survivors and, and what that means. Oh God, what it means, what it means is to be thankful every day that we're alive. Yes, I think that's what absolutely. it means, Maria. Mm -hmm. I think you have that same feeling about it. Um, what it also means is that it's important to reach out and it's important to get the word out and it's important to make sure that people understand that there is no diagnostic test for ovarian cancer. Most women believe, myself included, that the pap smear diagnosed it. And Maria and I know full well that's not true. And so because the symptoms are vague, because there is no diagnostic test, our statistics are not great. Compared to breast cancer, for instance, 91% survival rate at five years, 45% for ovarian cancer. And the more we get to educate, the more we get to talk about it, the more we hope that that survival rate increases. You know what, and that's the most important thing. Before we let you go, very quickly, tell us um, some of the things that women should be looking out for. Okay, um, what they should be looking out for is uh, bloating on a consistent basis of the abdomen, uh, urinary frequency, a sense of urgency, feeling full quickly and not understanding why. Most importantly, feeling full quickly and not losing weight, but an increasing girth, if you will, in the abdomen um, and potentially pelvic and back pain.
All right, mm -hmm. Naomi, we appreciate you coming here and joining us at Fox 5. Important information for everybody. Uh, if you would like to learn a little bit more about the, the walk, we do have a link up on our website with all the information you just heard right here. Just visit our website, fox5sandiego.com, and click on the Scene on Fox 5 tab. There's all the information right there. Sunday, September 8th at Tidelands Park, Coronado. The walk starts at 8 a.m. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.